Yeah, this morning I got a call about 6.30 that there's a tenant burst man on Jimmett's Road. So what I did, I called the superintendent who is working today and mobilized the team to get them on the job. Well, when we excavate the, when we get to the main, we find out that there's a big hole under the main. A big hole was blown up under the main. That main is down there probably over 100 years, so the state of the main, the pressure caused the main to blow, right? The main is an old main, so at that point it blew, it, it blew down to the bottom of the main. How many, how many homes, how many residents, how many people are going to be affected by this? Well, the only body really affected is the hospital. That's the, that's the major part that is out of Wally, the hospital. So we have, we have a, three tanks at the hospital right now, giving them water. Any idea how long this problem could last? Well, as you see, the guys are fitting up the main right now. Let me say about another half hour, we should got things back into, into, uh, into working order. What made this particularly difficult for us is that the QEH is involved. So, well, you might have a situation where other people can't be without water. The QEH cannot be without a supply of potable water. Based on the very nature of what the QEH does, is our primary healthcare facility in Barbados. Um, so it was a bit of a logistical stretch for us. As you know, we have the customary outages and we, the tankers go to respond if there's a burst and that sort of thing. So we are stretched on a good day with the tankers. So with this situation, we had to pretty much deploy, pull every single thing off, let the tankers fill up, come to the QH, to try to fill their tanks, have a tanker on standby to make sure that if all else fails, the QEH has water. Um, I just want to big up the guys who came out. As you can see, we have a full team here. People are working very hard. They work very, very, very quickly to try to fix this because they understand the nature of the issue and they understand what is at stake. So I just want to big at the men from the water authority who are here pushing hard in the service of the people of Barbados um, another issue for us as Ovid would have said is once we excavated we saw that the road was compromised as a result of this now if you look you can see there are a number of cracks running right along the area where the, the burst was and the road is sagging slightly just off to the burst so our difficulty now is it is not simply a matter of backfilling and opening back up the road. The Ministry of Transport and Works are going to have to come here and inspect their engineers are going to have to give the all clear for the road to reopen because what we do not want is a situation where the road is reopened and a car drops in. Right? So a lot of things are at play. I also want to thank the Royal Barbados Police Force. Um, they came out very quickly and shut off the road and tried to stop people from walking through here. And I urge Barbadians generally to heed traffic directions. If the police close the road and you see people working with heavy equipment, it's not simply to make your life miserable that you have to walk around, as some people who pass through here seem to think. But you have water, you have electricity, you have an excavator swinging, a crane swinging, right? And I saw some people squeezing through right there. And just after they pass, some asphalt dropped in on one of our people who was working inside the ditch. So the instructions are being given for a reason. Just Respect those who are pushing hard to do something for you and don't just think about your own convenience But as I said, it was a massive effort this morning to get this done very quickly because of what was at stake And I just want to commend everybody who played their part It is we have this issue One of the things that helps us to determine where there might be a leak is exactly that if the road suddenly starts to sink um, We have the aging infrastructure our pipes are bursting all the time. We do not go one day without something bursting. So wherever that happens, when the water comes up to the surface of the road, that is after a while. So when you see the water on the surface of the road, chances are that pipe was leaking below the road for a very, very long time. And what happens is all the compacted material under the road starts to wash away. So when you excavate it, if, if you have a hose and you put a hose in dirt, right where the nozzle the hose is pointing you will see there'll be a, a tunnel the, the water is going to eat away and create a path for itself the same thing happens when there's a burst under the road so very often it's not simply a matter of just fixing the pipe and backfilling you got to make sure that the integrity of the road is sufficient to for the traffic that passes on that road and